learn about Measurable Residual Disease, or MRD. MRD is sometimes called Minimal Residual Disease. If you or a loved one tests positive for MRD, this means there are low levels of cancer cells left after treatment. These cells may not cause symptoms, but they could cause the cancer to return or relapse. These cells may not be seen in other common cancer tests. If other tests show that you are in complete remission, MRD testing may find a small number of cancer cells left. MRD testing helps your healthcare team see how well treatment is working. It can also help identify people at risk of relapse. MRD testing is often used for blood cancers like leukemias, multiple myeloma, and lymphomas. The test is done using blood samples or bone marrow samples. So, how are MRD test results used in acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL? MRD testing may take place at different times in a person's cancer journey, such as after initial treatment. The test results show if there are any leukemia cells left that could cause ALL to return. This helps your doctor decide on a treatment plan. Now, let's talk about treatment decisions. Making treatment decisions can be hard, but your healthcare team will work with you to decide on the best option. Your doctor will consider several factors when recommending treatment. These include your cancer type, age, life, family and work goals, overall health, and treatment goals. You may want to talk with your loved ones about your treatment options. Be sure to discuss any questions or concerns with your healthcare provider. Free decision support and counseling is offered by the Cancer Support Community's Open to Options program. To find out more, call our Cancer Support Helpline at 888-793-9355. Based on your MRD testing results, your healthcare team may talk to you about a type of treatment called immunotherapy. Immunotherapy helps your immune system find and kill cancer cells. Most immunotherapy treatments are given as an IV infusion through a vein. The treatment schedule depends on the type of immunotherapy. If you decide to have immunotherapy, your healthcare team can tell you where, how, and when you will receive your specific treatment. The following side effects are common for patients taking immunotherapy treatments. Fever, headache, nausea, swelling of hands and feet, fatigue, rash, and increased risk of infections due to low white blood cell counts. If you are on immunotherapy, it is important to let your healthcare team know right away if you notice any change in side effects or symptoms. Most side effects can be managed if they are treated early. Ask your healthcare provider what to watch for and when to call. Know how to get help after office hours and on weekends and holidays. Thanks for watching. We hope that this information and the tools provided are helpful to you. Here are key points to remember. One, MRD test results show if there are any cancer cells left that could cause your cancer to return. Two, work with your healthcare team to understand your MRD test results. Three, your healthcare team, circle of support, and other resources can help you make the best decisions for you. For more information, please go to www.cancersupportcommunity.org forward slash MRD.